again this is the watering man this is spiritual toolbox number 507 and we're going to be continuing in john chapter 3 verse 36 i have it pre-recorded probably be a good one because i was hurting pretty bad <laughs> hips but stretching stuff didn't help it too much a little bit so here goes hello again this is the watering man this is a uh, spiritual toolbox number 507, and then we're continuing in John chapter 3, verse 36. And let's continue to kick that old giant Goliath's butt. And I'm on. Kick that Goliath thinking out of your mind and possess that land. You're on. In Christ. Like I am, that's E in. It's a relation to rest in God. Right now. Huh? Occupy it. Dry that stuff out and possess it. But you do it not by your might and power with your own armor. You do it with God's armor. That's relying on God. I can do all things not through. It's in Christ Jesus. All right? That's in Philippians 4.13. Okay. Now, the last, let's see. Let me read that verse, John 4, 36. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. Now, we was down in here. We covered down to fruit. Gathereth mature fruit. Okay, and it's coming all the way down into seasoning, it, right? Preferring that, seasoning. it. And all the way down, you go on down, all the way down, it goes down to uh, etymology, harpazo, that's to seize it. Then herio, I'm pronouncing it that way, it looks like it's spelt that way. It's 138, and that's to prefer it, to take for oneself. And then, and that one is a kin to, um, I think it's pronounced iro, but it looks like arrow. A I R O, Iro. That's the primary verb. But I mean, that word from fruit, mature fruit, is coming all the way down in there, and it's to elevate you, to lift you up. Coming out of that poop thinking, be reasonable, shape my way, and be elevated to God's superior way of thinking. Huh? Back into God's love. He's giving you, giving you an opportunity to increase into His racham. So you, that's the ability to love God as he first loved you. And how do he love you? How does he love you? Child, it's incompleted, but as you, you're completing that love, and as that incompleted love, that incompleted love, that child is a love that's beyond the mere description of word. You're learning little by little by little by little. As you green light, green light, green light, you exist, exist, exist. Not just three days, three ages in your earthly thinking. It's bringing you into maturity. He's lifting you up to his superior way of thinking, to his love. He's given you new life, fullness of life in God. Every little thing is spark plug. Remember that the seed of Christ is grown from faith to truth. <laughs> like a little spark plug, lightning, plasma. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> That's a green light. In fact, it's in high pursuit. <laughs> it's growing. It's going 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. And then it goes from 16 to 32. You got to rely on the good news of 16. Plus the 8. Plus the 4. Plus the 2. Plus the 1. And then that, that new one. It got. There's another one. That together. Fit, uh, 15 plus that new one. That's the 16. Plus the 16 that you had. Boom. Up to 32. And then it's boom. 64. 128. And it's increasing. There's a long way to go back. A long way to the top if you want to be in the road. The sky is the Lord. You got to live and exist, exist, exist in that land of Goshen, in the mind of Christ. <clears throat> Green light in God. He's your righteousness. Yahweh is the greatest. Yahweh is salvation. Is your deliverance, huh? The self-existing one, the great I am. I am your exceeding great reward. 
as he told Abram in Genesis 15:1, I am your exceeding great reward. That's the way, the truth, and the light. That's what you got to do. There's no compromise. Well, I could probably do it this way. If I just put on my own armor, I might be able to whip that guy. Maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good way. Let's do it. You know, you got to pay for your right. There's not really much of a bull crap. And they're eating it. All the septic tank. Hmm. What the... You're not even going to be able to move out there. Huh? You can't kill no Goliath thinking about yourself doing that. You're fooling yourself. You're full of shit. Full of your own. Seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. You got the diarrhea with the eye in the middle. Get that log out of your eye, boy. Girl. Huh? The only way you do that is to greet like God. Turn him faculty. Hey, that stuff's a bunch of crap. That's a cock of shit, man. I don't want that. Drop it like a bad habit. Let that become a widow to that thing. Surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Well, are you doing that? Or are you trying to hang on to it? Well, I still might be able to work it out. I still might be able to fight a little bit. Yes, so and I might be able to go there. You get it. I'll test you out now. Huh? No. Uh, you just agree with God. It's got to be in His time. And don't, don't go out of the need because you see something and think, man, I'm going on just a great man, powerful. Uh-uh. It's in Christ. He tells you to do it. It's going to happen. Huh? You don't say nothing. Don't dare do that. And then you just like put on up and on my own armor and go out there and fight that giant for you. Hey, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> you gonna get your butt whooped, aren't you? Huh? Don't do that. Huh? You're, you're fooling yourself. You're laying on, you're feeding right into it. Here's a lollipop for you, man. You are the greatest. Won't you just go out there and do this? You can go out there and whoop and conquer the world. You're practically an evangelist. Not knowing that the Christ in you is what, what's uh, the grace. Going out to influence, divine influence, God's influence in your heart, in your mind, living in that land of Goshen. And it's reflection out to your lifestyle. That's the only thing. That's that fivefold ministry is coming from the Christ inside you. That's a apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor who teaches. Coming from forth inside you. Huh? Not this stuff is, you know, no, it ain't gonna work. Can't work. Huh? Destined to fail. Okay? Don't believe that bullcrap. Okay? Now, now this mature fruit, he gathereth, he season it, and it's mature fruit, right? And it's lifting it up all the way down in the down to the the primary verb, down to the root of that mature fruit. It's God's increasing you, God's elevating you, God gives the increase. Some so, some water. But God gives the increase. Okay? Now, the next word it says, unto, that's actually 1519, ice, E-I-S. What does that word mean? To, towards, and into. Huh? Okay. To, towards, and into. Not, not, not unto. Huh? Let's get... Let's get precise and correct on this thing, all right? Hmm. Spiritually speaking, not the letter of the law. Huh? The letter of the law kills, but the spirit of the law gives life. Let's look at the spirit. Huh? The screenway going into, two towards and into God's righteousness. 
That's what's left in you up. Seize it. Grab it. Come back to this mature fruit. Little by little by little by little. Let God bring it to this. Mm, boy, that's great. Huh? Not this. Oh, man. Not this again. Oh, no. Not again. Hurt so bad. I don't understand. I was infatuated. <laughs> now, so it's in two, two towards and in two, life eternal. Now this life is Zoe life, 2222. Life is from this word. Strong's G, 2222. Zoe. 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 Okay, that's God's love, God's light, God's lightning bolt. It's bringing the truth back to you. God loves you more than anything. Uh, loves you beyond the mere description of words. Huh? That's the fullness of life in God. Because you're gaining the ability to love like that too. Love God and love the Christ in others. At whatever level, okay? And now it says eternal that word comes from 166, A-I-O-N-I-O-S, this word. Strong's G, 166, Ionios. Ionios. Okay, now that's an adjective, and that comes from uh, A-I-O-N, um, 165, okay, and that's from about... Uh, it's a masculine noun. It's an uh, an age or an unbroken age. Hmm? Or like the age of ages. Okay. So this, this is the the unbroken age. This is the permanent fixture in God. This is the satisfaction of the fullness of life in God. That God's love that you're longing for inside. That you keep grasping after, like the grasping after the wind, and there's nothing there. Nothing is satisfying you in yourself. It should resonate within you. This other stuff you think, oh, God just got a new truck, man. Life is great. I got a new car, new this, new that. You know what I mean? I just got married. Blah. After a while, that newness wears off. Man, that thing, that old piece of crap out there. After about a year, whatever, however long, a period of time, an age, in the natural, you, know, you kind of get man, tired of this stuff. Or you move to a different location. Man, it's great in this place. This new city. Man, I was tired of that old place I used to live. Man, this is great right here. Everything's just great, man. There's all kinds of stuff to do after a few years living there. So, man, there ain't nothing to do around here. I'm bored out of my mind. You done? It just got old to you. Huh? Hmm. What was good, what was a good thing, doesn't satisfy you no more. See? It's grasping after the wind. And when you open up your hands, there ain't nothing there. Man, I bored out my mind. When you get this, a hold of the truth of God, and you're living, existing, you stay having your being, that land of Goshen, all that stuff of the worldly thinking. Like it's represented in Egypt, like in the, the land of Egypt in this, when the, the Moses and the Pharaoh and all this, I've let my people go and all that stuff going on back here in the book of Exodus and stuff. Huh? It's all about living out in that darkness, that blackness, thinking in your mind, trying to grasp after all that wind, that stuff, all kinds of stuff going on there, plagues and stuff. You live in that land of Goshen, drawing near to God in that truth. With that spirit's growing. Boom, 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 boom. That spark plug's going off the Christ. You're killing that giant that's growing. Uh, it's getting more dense in Christ. You see what I'm saying? That 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. It's not growing so much in circumference, in the in the diameter or anything of that. So it's just growing denser in Christ. Heavier, weightier, substance, glorious. Huh? A dense, weighty character of God 
is grown and inside that thought process. From a 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 5, 12, 5, 12, 24. Be quite, be amazing if it went that quick. With it, with, uh, I mean, if you could do it that quick in just a few seconds, bam, you're already up. <laughs> you ever do it? Huh? God might do it, man. It's, it's usually his process, and you got to agree. In fact, you got to qualify with him each step of the way. But, man, it's after a while at things you, you uh, diligently seek him. It's growing, it's getting massive. But it's still tiny, 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 out of like a whole universe, and in this each thought process, this little grain of sand has got God's blowing it up, and he's dealing with these little bitty thought processes down there and there that's really like untouchable, unknowable to you. The heart of man is desperately wicked and evil above all things, right? Who can know it? Like in, uh, I'm just kind of paraphrasing that, in uh, Jeremiah 17, 9. Who can know this stuff? That whole bunch of darkness in there. Live in the land of Goshen. If you lift God up, you stay and live in that. Green lighting God, he's the one overcoming. Bringing you back up, giving you. He's offering to give you that free gift. Be reasonable, sit my way, my child. Hmm? Oh, man, yes, daddy, yes. I won't bone. Ba -ba -ba of you lifting me up but I thought was a green like you back into you holy holy lord but I thought purify me but I thought this fiery fat test it's not can't touch me oh that's like maybe a song like maybe Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you, in those three ages, three ages in your earthly thinking, you're singing in there and fiery, they're like jamming down, make your rock and roll bands and all this, hmm, look like nothing compared to, to them, God's in there, it's party time, baby. Not even been bothered with all that accusing and stuff. God's fire take care of that crap. Huh? Just like in that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Damn, they're looking in there trying to catch a pick of them when they're killing them. Burning them up. But they can see there's four in there. Christ is in there. God's the one doing it. He's your guard, your front, your rear guard. He's your every guard. Right? No, no word. <coughs> Make my, uh, kind of, you know, that's just uh, everything. Every which way, every viewpoint, it's God. Green light into it. Huh? You don't need no tangible approval, huh? God is the proof. Come on, man. <laughs> Alright, a revelation. He's bringing the truth before noon. Not to you. There's no one. see it his way. Alright, now, <clears throat> so that's a life eternal. I'm going to read down to where we're at so far. Okay? If it's work done, it's work done well, right? <coughs> it's got to be God's way. Okay? Now it says, And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. It's really into, right? Into, towards into. Alright, now the next part, that both he that soweth and he that re reapeth may rejoice together. Okay? Now, okay, the next word in the interlinear Bible, so, oh yeah, it's got it like this, they translate it as that. Then they have both, and then he that, and so with together, we may rejoice, and, and then it puts and. Okay, so now let's see here. That, okay, the word that they translated as that comes from 24, 
It's Hina. H-I-N-A. This word. Strong's G-2443. Hina. Hina. Now, remember that little boy, a little kid in the classroom? That's us. And they're listening to the teacher, God, at the front of the class, teaching. Huh? And then Jesus, right up there beside him, like the teacher's aide, said, this is the way, the truth, and the life. This is how you do it. Right? Now, are you taking and watching God, learning, and doing it? Or are you looking out the window out there at the playground and saying, man, I sure like to be out there playing and kicking them when they're down. Down, down, down. Right? All this stuff. Getting lunch money. <laughs> All this stuff. This bunch of crazy stuff, okay? Now, in this word, Hina, it's in order at, order that. Hold on. In order that, okay? And it's through the idea, through uh, the demonstrative idea, denoting the purpose or result. Now, when you're listening to, to Christ, you're listening, you're learning. You see, here they set to smell in these storms. So you can green light God, so you can go up and demonstrate it. This is how you do it, Al. Green light God in all your ways. Hmm? When you qualify, let's see, with this, with God. It's denoting the purpose or the result. It's giving you the increase, the return, the increase in the God, and the ability to love Him more, to res to reverence, respect, extreme respect and honor, laying on your knees, submitting to God, laying out prostate, worshiping at the feet of Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Back to the Father. Hmm? Oh my goodness, Father God, you, Yahweh, you are salvation. Oh, thank you. Huh? Yahweh is salvation. All right, you're gaining levels in this. That's the purpose, the result. If you're paying attention, learning, increasing, you're remembering God's putting that back together. To remember something, you're remembering, re-doing it again, reassembling. God is reassembling you. As you green light God, you can, I can do all things, not through, it's in. Relation to rest in God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Right? And lean not upon your own understanding. Don't be out there on that playground. Crap. Get out of that junk. Stop that, you mean little kid. Are you out there doing your own? I won't be mean. I was just out there playing on the jungle gym. Or the swing set or play tag. You're doing your own stuff. You're not paying attention to what God's telling you to do. The lesson. So you can demonstrate it. In order that you can demonstrate it and get this purpose, this result. Hmm? Now... <clears throat> Now, this part, I got a little note here. It says, this purpose, I got that colored in orange. That's because that's representing love. To me. Okay? It's increasing. It's made, Orange is made up of red and yellow, right? <clears throat> red, but you're coming back. You're giving up your old red way, and you're coming to God. Okay? And through the understanding of yellow, giving up your own understanding and coming back to the enlightenment of God. So you're coming... Hmm. Those red and orange or red and yellow lights, not paint, the light is bringing you in like a love of God, okay? Now this, the purpose is it's increasing you as you green light God, as you demonstrate it, as you do it in practice in high pursuit and you pay attention and you come up and you get this demonstrative idea. In order that you do that through the idea of a demonstrative idea. 
this is how you do it. Ow! Come back to God in all your ways. Come on, green light him. Right? So now this love is, is de like demonstrating your fealty. Your loyalty. Your, oh my goodness, Father God. Yes, you are Mike's in grave. Lord. See, let all that old humanistic thinking play on that playground is a liar. And the truth's not in it. Huh? Let all that mankind thinking be a liar. Let God be true and all that humanistic thinking is a liar. All men are a liar. All that humanistic thinking. Men and women, that humanistic thinking. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright? The love of God produces mature fruit in God's righteousness. Huh? That's the purpose. It's bring you back. It's spark plugs going off. Bring the germinate from our faith. So here's another truth. There's one added it to the other, and you're relying on that. You're living, existing, existing, existing in that. Boom, land of Goshen, boom, it's going to the next one, the next one, to the next one. Up another rung of steps on that spiraling staircase, going up into the right mindedness of God, through that convection, up to the dust devil, right? Don't mean teaching these things. All right, you don't understand that? Go back and listen to these, go over them again. Okay? I put them on there, they're free. Huh? I made up a little flyer, you know, we'll try to put it on from maybe, I'm thinking about putting it on, make some copies and putting it on bulletin boards that says the Waterman videos are free on YouTube. These videos teach the word of God. God loves you. He's not messed up, mad scientist, crazed, lunatic, uh, you want to torment everybody, 90-some percent of them in hell, and you, uh, you know, all, a bunch of just... Twist it to your own destruction. Huh? Let's get it right. Come on, man. Come on, that stupid stuff. Alright? That carnal stuff. It's actively hostile and opposed to you going back to towards and into God. Alright? Now, down and down to Hena. And then it gets right back down to the word Kai. Again, both. It's copulative. And cumulative. It's bring you back into unity with God, copulative, and back into EM. EM with relationship to rest in God. Remember, I've uncovered that many times. And then it gets down to he that. That's the ha. H O. 3588. Strong's G. 3588. Ha. Huh. Huh. That's a ball thinking. Okay? It says he that in the King James. That's that ha. Huh. A definite article when it's speaking of that ball thinking of the sower. Okay? Sower. It's 4687. S P E I R O. This word. Strong's G. 4687. Spiral. 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 Okay? And it's, that's a verb. In the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, it says to scatter or sow. And online, it's a proverbial, proverbial sayings. Online, biblical. It's, it's bringing down. It's, it's saying, the sayings are the word of God. The thought processes of God scatter it. Scatter those proverbial sayings and words, the thought processes of God. Those, the ones that sow. Sow the words of God. Some water, some so, okay? Alright, I'm gonna have to segment it and I'll continue. Like, hit like, subscribe, comment on these things. Man, let's get this thing out and, and kill that, knock that giant down in your mind again and again and again, that Goliath down. Chop his head off, take that identity from him, drive out those former inhabitants. Each one of them microscopic one into a negative 35 thought processes inside of one, each grain of thought process, each one single thought process in your mind. <coughs> Chop that stuff out. Skim it out. In Christ. 
hit him in the head with that, in the mind with that, uh, uh, the rock, Christ. Let it germinate, bring it back to fire, like a spark plug, and bring it back to the truth of God. God loves you beyond the mere description of words. Huh? And add it to that other good news. Chop that thing's head off. Take that identity from it and possess that land. Put ye on the mind of Christ. Hit like, subscribe, comment on these things. Just pass this stuff around. Let's get it out. Amen. Alright, I have two more to put on here. Hit like, subscribe, and comment and all that stuff. Alright. And, uh, I woke up dreaming another thing this morning. Uh, maybe I can bring it out a little bit later. But it's like when we got excess. It's been like the rich band and stuff. Talk. Huh? Sure. Like the guy coming to Jesus saying. Um, I've done all this stuff. Ever since I was born. So what more can I do? Hmm. He said go sell all that you have and give it to the poor. Hmm. Maybe I'll cover that So I don't know. I'll probably, if I just keep going in town, I'll probably get to it. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.